हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू टीन टीन क्लासेस योर क्लासमेट अनुपमा दिस साइड टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द हरोपन सिविलाइजेशन इट इज अ ब्रोन चेज सिविलाइजेशन हरोपन सिविलाइजेशन इज द फर्स्ट अर्बन सिविलाइजेशन इन साउथ एशिया इट इज कंटेम्पोररी टू द सिविलाइजेशन ऑफ मिसोपोटेमिया एंड इजिप्ट early historians had called this as indus valley civilization but afterwards major settlements have been excavated far beyond the indus region as the first archaeological site was discovered in horoppa therefore it was renamed as horoppan civilization it can be classified in three phases early horoppan phase mature horoppan phase and late horoppan phase early horoppan phase are marked by their fortification high level of expertise in specialized crafts uh, such as stone working bead making metal crafting their use of wheeled transport and existence of trade networks some of the early horoppan archaeological sites are padri kalibongan which is now in rajasthan dholabira harappa बालाकोट एक्सेट्रा मैच्योर हरोपन फेज वॉज द आर्बन फेज ऑफ द हरोपन सिविलाइजेशन विच शोज द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ ए फुल फ्लेजेड सिविलाइजेशन एंड द लेट हरोपन फेज वॉज द पोस्ट आर्बन फेज डिफाइंड बाई अ डिक्लाइन इन द सिटीज एंड एंड ऑफ हरोपन सिविलाइजेशन the transition from the mature phase uh, doesn't show any sudden discontinuity there was a gradu- gradual change in seals pottery confined writing and so on now we will discuss discuss about the mature horoppan phase because the the full fledged civilization was grown in this phase it was the largest among the ancient urban civilizations it covers rajasthan punjab haryana gujarat and pakistan of modern days the northernmost site discovered till date is manda in jammu westernmost site is in sukta jender in baluchistan the easternmost site discovered till date is alamgirpur in up and the western and the southernmost is in malwa in south gujarat now we will discuss the town planning of horoppan civilization because horoppan civilization is known for its urbanization and sense of civic planning mostly the horoppan cities were divided into two parts citadel and lower part citadel occupied a smaller area and was frequently situated to the west of the city rulers of the city generally lived here and the lower part is that the common citizens lived and carried on their professional lives in the lower part of the city city planning roughly followed a grid pattern and streets ran from north and cut at right angles streets were white the main street divides the town into rectangular and square block which is a which is which is, which is an unique which is a unique feature actually they used burnt bricks and the unique feature of this brick was its identical ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 4 in terms of thickness width and length across all horoppan structures houses were often of two or more stories but the houses were quite monotonous horoppan people had an excellent drainage system and horoppan society was an urban society they were great experts in the use of potter's wheel primarily red black pottery was popular but they were very poor in artistic works of stone they refined the art of bead making and jewelry 
excavated there includes uh, gold jewelry and silver jewelry copper bronze silver gold were used but iron was probably not used by the harappan people though they know the metal iron harappan people wore garments of cotton and wool harappan uh, people relished non vegetarian foods uh, fish eating was very common milk and curd was also consumed the harappan societies of sindh and punjab largely consumed wheat and barley while those of rongpur and sorkoda consumed rice and millets now uh, the harappan script we will discuss harappan script uh, though harappan script has not been deciphered so far but the harappan script was pictograph pictographic and logosyllabic logosyllabic means uh, its symbol stood for a word what a word or syllable and their writing was bustavidan style that is to say right to left and left to right in alternate lines there as the harappan civilization is contemporary to uh, mesopotamian and egyptian civilization evidence of flourishing trade relations with mesopotamia and other Persi persian civilizations has been found there was no metallic money circulation there is no metallic money in circulation actually uh, they used the method of barter barter system to conduct their trade they used to trade in lapis lazuli gold copper steatite etc inland transports primarily employed bullock carts a dockyard has been excavated in lothal and seaports have been found at rongpur balakot so somnath uh, which shows the uh, uh, in, inland and outer trade relations also next we will move to harappan seal harappan seal standard harappan seal uh, was a square plaque made of steatite stone probably uh, every merchant had a seal bearing an emblem often a religious character and a name or brief description on one side harappan seals have been found in mesopotamia and also in mohenjodaro three cylinder seals of mesopotamian type have been found it affirms the trade relationship between harappa and mesopotamia seal has been found uh, bearing harappan script and a unicorn which i have uh, put a picture of that seal in my slide uh, their measurement ideas was also known to us because a remarkable aspect of harappan culture was its standardization and accuracy in weights and measurements a uh, binary system was followed in lower denominations and then in decimal multiples of 160 like 160 320 640 so on in case of higher denominations weights mainly made of chart limestone etc and were generally cubical in shape harappan civilization is mainly considered as a secular society because not a single structure of temple has been found sacred uh, ritual spots included the great bath of mohenjodaro and uh, ritual activity was performed such as a ceremonial bathing bathing it was performed there was uh, there some evidence has been discovered regarding this but harappan civilization was a secular society harappan society actually and idolatry was practiced harappan people generally worshiped mother goddess proto shiva phallus and cult of fertility people tree one horned unicorn etc and now their method of burials was so interesting because dead bodies were placed in north south direction 
accompanied by uh, food pottery ornaments tools etc generally they used three methods of burial one is complete burial next is fractional burial that is where the bones were gathered and buried after exposure of the body to birds and beasts and the next is cremation followed by burial of the ashes there the though harappan civilization is uh, is urban one uh, was an urban one but they are uh, they, they, their agriculture and um, agricultural products have also been excav- found or discovered the harappan civilization was the earliest known civilization to produce cotton wheat specially in uh, mehergarh rice in lothal was found uh, as the lothal lothal is now in desert gujarat and it is uh, besides sea so there uh, only lothal lo, only in lothal rice was cultivated mainly next is they also Uh, explored riverine and marine resources wherever possible they domesticated animals in a large scale besides cattle cats and dogs were also domesticated but horopans uh, were not well acquainted with the horses actually horopan culture was not horse centered horopan horopans were known to be elephant or rhinoceros as uh, some seal the the emblem of rhinoceros or one horned unicorn was found in some seal but harappan culture was not actually horse centered next uh, harappan civilization the decline of harappan civilization was around in 1900 bc Uh, but no archaeological evidence accurately provides an explanation for the deurbanization the possible theories of declination is uh, aryan invasion maybe or ecological disturbance as per fairchild or maybe change in river course either low rainfall or flood earthquake or other natural calamities maybe this is the main features of uh, harappan civilization and afterwards with the course of time in 1900 bc harappan civilization declined now uh, the famous some famous harappan sites we all know that harappa was first discovered in the year 1921 by doyaram shahani and it was on the bank of ravi and presently sahiwal district of punjab the main discovered is here is stone dancing notraj mother goddess graveyard evidence of coffin burial phallus worship etc if you go through my slides you can find the main discoveries in various horopan sites now we will move to mohenjodaro mohenjodaro was discovered by rakhal das bandopadhyay in the year 1922 it was on the bank of indus the main discoveries are poshupati seal bronze statue of dancing girl ivory weight balance priest king statue etc next is lothal this port town was discovered by r rao in the year 1953 i have forgotten to say that uh, mohenjodaro means mound of death next from lothal we'll go to kalibangan kalibangan was discovered in the year 1953 it was now in modern days rajasthan uh, kalibang discoveries main discoveries in kalibangans kalibangan are uh, copper rocks wooden drainage wooden plow two kinds of burial evidence of earthquake fire altars etc next we will go to sukta jinder discoveries 
the more the most important discovery here is the trade point between Horoppa and Babylon, and it was discovered in the year nineteen twenty nine. Next is Chandudaro. It can be said that it was an industrial town at the time of Horoppan civilization, and the most important discovery is. it is the only city it was the only city without citadel remains of both pre harappan and mature harappan culture bangle factory ink pot bead makers shop etc was discovered here next is amri and surkotara amri discovered is are antelope evidence rhinoceros evidence in surkotada bones of horses were found stone covered grave pit burial were also found next is banwali it was discovered in the year 1974 it was uh, presently in hisar district of haryana the main discoveries are beads oval shaped settlement clay model toy plow it was a center of all three phases of horoppan civilization next we will go to dholavira dholavira was discovered in the year 1985 the main discoveries are giant water reservoir sign board with in the script stadium rock cut architecture etc it was the only site to be divided into three parts next is roper the main discoveries are dog buried with humans one inscribed stateite seal with typical indus pictographs building made of stone and soil next is kot diji the main discoveries are star statue of bull and mother goddess next we will move to alamgirpur alamgirpur uh, was discovered in the year 191958 by y d sharma and the main discoveries here are pottery copper tools plant fossils animal bones etc next is rongpur rongpur um, was on the bank of mother river and the main discoveries here are rice husk yellow and grey color pots of pre harappan people now uh, i have gathered some important informations like uh, ruins of harappa were first noticed by charles mason lapis lazuli was very much known to us as uh, shortugai was the trading outpost for lapis lazuli horopan glazed pottery type is the earliest example of its kind in the world the horopan bricks were made in an open mold next is wax casting technique used for making bronze statues Horopans didn't have weapons. Modern day Sindh and Rajasthan were not desert on those days. Next is, um, as we all are civil as civil service aspirants, I thought to put some previous year questions here in my slide, and accordingly, I. put some question question and question and their options here uh, you can practice this questions and you can find the answers from google i am not reading this question to questions uh, you can go through the questions i am just moving my slide
some answers some some answers of my questions are also in my slide these questions are all from wbcs mains previous year question papers and i've come to the end of my presentation thank you for watching